This town TV and this town magazine is more than just about advertising. It's a network set up to help small businesses and people with talent in and around South End, hopefully to achieve a better future. I was lucky enough to bump into Gary Lawrence at the Beecroft Art Gallery. Here's an interview I had with him. A lot of your work is involved around architecture and structures. Is that the sort of stuff you usually do? Is that where you, your usual area of work? And there are lots of buildings in, 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 in the work. It's, it's more to do with if I see a view or a scene or somewhere I've been um, or a picture in the book. If I just if the if the image inspires me, it's kind of sort of cheers me up. Really, do I do I like the picture? So it could be trees, it could be buildings. It's it's basically towns and places I've been. I'm not interested in architecture as such, apart from like anybody else. You like to look at buildings, but I'm no expert on architecture. So are these all drawn in Biro? Is that right? The um, most most of the work in here is Biro. About 95% of it is Biro ballpoint pen, and sometimes I've started to add gel pens, which is like a kind of a white Biro, um, so you can use it like it's a ballpoint pen, but um, it's white, so you can go over things instead. But um, they're mainly ballpoint pen on on paper and any any type of paper, kind of leftover paper or wallpaper backs of posters, paper people give me. It's all it's all done on the cheap. Yeah. It doesn't really cost much. The expensive bit is framing and submitting to competitions for entry fees and transportation. That takes more of the money than the materials. But um, I like the biro. It seems to work for me um, just in terms of making marks. And I like it because it it's so cheap it never runs out. What was your, your, your background with your art? I mean, did, was you self-taught or did you go to art college or university? Well, I've always done it since a child. So there's part, part of it is what you teach yourself, you pick up when, when you're very young. But then I did go to art college when I was 16 to Branchy College 
to do a foundation, then to Portsmouth Polytechnic to do a degree course, and then a couple of places in America to do postgraduate work. So I've, I've, I've done as much um, studying as you can. Apart from the fact is if you can get funding that way to, to be on a course to get a grant. So I've um, done as much art school as you possibly can get away with. Is it profitable being an artist? Um, not, not financially profitable, but I suppose emotionally, it's 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 what you do, it's what you are, it's it's normal and natural to um, for me to draw, to paint. It's something you do every day. It's not even something you think about doing. It's just what you do naturally. Like you eat every day, you, you're going to draw it. I'll, I'll draw last night. I'll draw tomorrow night. And this is I have a night off to come here. Most most artists just want to carry on. Even the ones who are successful and making money they also want to carry on yes it'd be nice to have a, a studio space and have storage space be a bit more organized but um you do it one way or the other is there anything you're working on at the moment that we're going to be seeing in the future well i mean i've, I've got two pieces on the go one of a, a kind of a view of stansted airport um with a few other things included that's another ballpoint pen piece and I've started a painting, I thought I should, I always think I should be painting, even though I'm drawing, I think you should paint for yeah. some reason, like yeah. it's a bit up there, but it's not, but I think I should try a painting. So I've started a painting in um, Sadelin, which is wood varnish. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it doesn't, I'm, I'm using tiny amounts of paint, it's very much thinned down and you can thin it down with water. So it's like doing thin acrylic or watercolour. So that's the painting I'm doing, that's a, a view of a town in Rhodes. Um, so I haven't given painting a go, but I'm tending to draw with the paint, <laughs> instead of painting with the paint. So it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Gary Thank you very much. This Town TV and This Town magazine were set up to help small businesses and people with talent in and around South End. How we do that is by offering low cost advertising within our magazine and free videos for website upload and for this channel.